Hey guys, welcome back to the Wednesday Reboot. I'm Wednesday. Today we're going to talk about McDonald's. What? Yes, I want to make a McDonald's out of a Happy Meal. I saw a really cool digital art thing on digital art stock, something like that on Instagram. But the people who did it was Hood As, I'm going to say As. Thing right, that's why I'm going like this. It's going to be right in this area. So go check them out on Instagram. Um, they had a McDonald's that was like post apocalyptic Happy Meal thing. So I was like, I want to do that for my world. I think it's a crazy cool idea and I want to do a Ronald McDonald to go with it. So he's a Fortnite character. That Fortnite character I'm pulling right here because I don't remember his name. But yeah. So that happened. So I did that. Everything's done. Took me about a week to do. So yeah, thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Don't forget that this video is powered by the Beard Struggle. So if you guys want to save 15% on your stuff, use promo code Wenzilla. 35 that's one zilla 35 go and check it out get your beard all sexy let's be vikings together let's do this thing without further ado i'm going to turn this thing around also inspired by empire toys everything that i do is pretty much inspired by all of the people that i look at and check out on the daily and i just think his work is amazing his rock gut everything he's doing is kind of what I'm trying to start here. It's on a smaller scale because I don't have that type of room and all of that jazz. And I also collect six inch 112 scale and all the other scales. So I really just can't hone in on one scale. So, but I like his style. I like that you can take all the worlds and make them into one. A lot of the photos that you see, there's gonna be a mixture of different troopers from different times together. There's gonna be a mixture of different characters who aren't in the same worlds, but in this world they are so i like that idea it makes everything so much more fun so without further ado let's flip this thing around let's check this thing out and the pictures are probably already up on instagram but we're gonna turn this thing around we're gonna check this thing out and stay tuned to the end for all the toy photography So here we are. Here is the Happy Meal McDonald's thing. I'm trying this light too because it does have a light. It was just a dollar store light. But yeah, I was going to break this whole thing down and just kind of show you guys everything. So dollar store light, reading light, grabbed it, hooked it up. It's good to go. For the base of this, I used wood, just some plywood. And then this is actual metal siding. It's not an actual Happy Meal. It's a little bit bigger than a Happy Meal. I did use a Happy Meal for some of my dimensions and stuff. And these are the straws, the bendy straws that you can get. These are just pieces of plastic I had that I painted up. And as always, guys, I use corrosion. Tamiya corrosion. And then on top of that, I'll add like my rust colors and all the other colors from there. I use this as like a little recycling bin. I think it was blue at one time. Yeah, still blue. A little recycling bin and I just put a little label on there, a little tomato ketchup thing, and put some tomatoes in there. I thought that was a cool little feature. This is actually also a straw. And this is just a piece of dowel wood with some straws and just paint it with the silver. And that rust look. Over here, this is like an Aleve bottle that I took, and then this hose is from a CPAP type machine. Got some uh, bungee cords back here that I painted blue. Piece of Pyramidus. So if you're a Power Ranger fan, Gold Zero Ranger, Pyramidus. A piece of him back there. Uh, some wooden, like this right here is just a wooden drum thing. I made it look like a Coca-Cola keg. And then you get the little oil drum, another wooden one that I painted up. Added a little ladder. Those Fortnite stands that you get with your Fortnite figures, added that. So we're on this edge right here because I'm not very good at cutting so when I sealed this thing up it had some spots so I just used that to go around. This is actually from a airplane. Some of the elite guys I used to get from Toys R Us, that airplane. Over here, a piece of the X-Wing. 
I cut off the tip of it. That's the actual gun. The back off the X-Wing, I believe. I used on the side. Some shoestring, some more straws. And then another piece of pyramidus. And then I had some of this metal stuff that I, it's all cranked up. You can also use like the party stuff, like birthday parties if you want to. It's like made out of paper. This is actual tin. And this is from like a Jax ring. This is from like eaves troughs. When you want your eaves trough covers, that's what this stuff is, just paint it up. Inside there is EVA foam to make the M and then I wrapped it in the metal siding. For the weathering, I usually just, you know, start with the corrosion, like I said, the Tamiya corrosion, or I'll do like a black wash, something like that. Um, I did use spray paint on this to get the red and the yellow and then some of this stuff out here. It's how you, it'd be really hard for me to go over all the paints because I think I emptied out everything that I have in my paints. So I pulled out every color I had for some of these shades. Like I said, I just did a, just want to give him a sword and a Star Wars gun because, you know, why not? But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take some shots of this. If you guys have any more questions, let me know down in the comments. I think I hit everything. Just some nuts, bolts, stuff like that. Some like little computer screen. <laughs> just some cool stuff like an entry pad to get in. But yeah, just totally inspired by Empire Toyworks and what he does. And I kind of wanted to bring my own style to that type of feel. Thanks for taking a couple minutes out of your day. Really appreciate it. Thanks for coming by. Checking this out and remember to uh, always be kind to one another. And here are the pictures. I thought it'd be really cool. What if, uh, like, you get freighters come around and just drop off, like, all their essentials and stuff? Like, so yeah, it took an acid rain and did a quick little repaint of that, added a little label, and bam, bam. Now freighters can just drop them off at like McDonald's or whatever, what have you. Bye.